Alright everyone, welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we'll be doing a drone flying test sort of thing. So if you guys checked out one of my previous videos about my left hand here about licensing and permitting, you would know that trying to find different areas to actually fly your drone can be quite challenging. So today we're going to just go through some of the different resources that I use to try to find different zones and we'll uh, go out and do a little fly. So the first thing we need to look at is the weather. Are the conditions going to be optimal for drone flying? And it looks like we've got mixed sun and clouds up until uh, sunset here tonight. So that is perfect. One of the things I love whenever I'm taking videos or photos with a drone, if I'm doing a golden hour, is to have sort of a textured sky. So not having completely cloudless skies is actually a good thing. Okay, so now let's go through some of the different tools I use. The first thing I'm going to have a look at is the um, NRC uh, drone map. So this covers all national parks, um, airports, and also uh, city areas where you're not allowed to fly. Not provincial parks, we'll get into that in a second. So you can see all the different zones here where you cannot fly. Red is a no-go, orange is a no-go, yellow is a no-go. These are all areas you are not allowed to fly. But as you can see, there's a huge area that's not covered and you might think you can fly. There's a ton of provincial parks within these areas that aren't marked on here, so you're gonna have to look at a different resource. But that being said, let's have a look at today's target, which is Moose Mountain and Prairie Mountain. So these two obviously on the NRC app do not come up as an area where you cannot fly. So this is a good start. As you can see, it falls beside Elbow Falls, which is actually inside Kananaskis Provincial Park, which is definitely a no fly area. So we're gonna have to have a look at the Alberta Parks Protected Areas PDF map to see whether or not we can actually fly here. So let's go ahead and jump in there now. So as we can see, there are a ton of different destinations, basically anything that's got a, um, color over top of it means you can't fly there. As you can see, see there's Elbow Sheep Wildland Park, there's Peter Lougheed, Bow Valley Wildland. These are all protected areas where you cannot fly unless you get special permitting, which isn't something we're going to talk about today because I didn't get that. So, so we can see Moose Mountain is not covered by one of those different color designations is this inset, and it actually says N-A-P-N-T. So let's jump into what that designation actually means. So if you go over to this side of the map, Let's have a look here. As you can see, it's a PDF. It's not like actually an active map. So you have to zoom in and zoom out. PNT is a protective notation. So I believe this is actually a designation where we can fly, but so let's have a look at the route we're going to take. So as you can see, we're starting in downtown Calgary. So our drive time is gonna be an hour 40. We're gonna take 22 to 66, then 66 over. And then we'll have this turn off right around here and it'll take us to right around where the mountain is. We're not gonna go hiking. We're just gonna go there and you know, see what it looks like and see if we can get some cool footage. But as you can see, we do go by Alba Falls, meaning we are going to be in Kananaskis, so we will get a uh, day pass for the park online in a few minutes. I'll do that separately because you don't need to see me pay for my park pass. So without further ado, let's get out there. We'll do a little bit of videoing along the way. We'll drive out there. We'll see what the spot looks like and we'll see whether or not we can actually drone there. Let's go. Whew. But of course, whenever you're coming out to do one of these sort of photo video missions, it's nice to stop and see some different spots along the way. So right now I'm at the Elbow Falls turn off here in Kananaskis. One thing I noticed on my way up was there was actually a ton of um, filming vans. So maybe they're filming something up here, which is kind of neat. can leave their cattle here and it's so far the only wildlife I've seen but here they are okay so we are here the road is not great and the mountain is over here. So not exactly where I thought we would stop driving, but um, as you guys can see, the road is just, it's not great and I have no cell reception out here. And I've just made an executive decision that because I'm here by myself, it's probably not a good idea for me to go much further down this road. So we're just gonna pop the drone up here, see if we can get an aerial shot of the mountain from here. And maybe we'll come back sometime uh, with another driver, just so that way then if something were to happen, 
you know, we're covered, right? We're covered, we're good to go. But, you know, just because there's a chance, you know, you could break down out here and there's no um, cell service or anyone even out here, like, cause this is pretty much just an abandoned road. Um, it, a lot could go wrong. So we're gonna pop the drone up here and then we're gonna take it back to Calgary. Let's go. <laughs> provide me as in you know areas I shouldn't throw resources I might be missing or areas I should go and check out please comment below as this is a community and I'd love to hear from you but as usual remember to take beautiful photos every single day and don't do it for the views do it for you and folks we'll see you in the next video bye everyone